Hi friends, how are you? Hope you all are doing well. In the previous lesson, I taught you how we can convert the lines to objects. If you did not watch that lesson, go to my English playlist and you can see that lesson over there. Now I would like to say you one thing before starting the lesson. If you are new here, please subscribe and like my channel and share to your friends also. I will be very thankful to you if you subscribe and like my channel and also write your opinion at the end of this lesson in the comment box that how I am teaching you and press the bell icon for the notification of the next lesson. Before starting the lesson, I want to tell you some points of this lesson. In this lesson, I will teach you how to make a wood stool in Dino with accurate sizes. I will make this stool in the realistic form mean I will make this stool with the real mechanism and with the real sizes so you can give your file to the manufacturer or carpenter to make it. One more thing please listen carefully. When you make any product the product sizes must be perfect according to the space where it will be used. I think you must have understood my points. Now guys let's start the lesson number 3. Here I will make one top 4 legs and 8 legs supporter for this tool. The stool size will be 12 inch by 12 inch and the height will be 18 inch. Double click the top viewport so you can see everything clear over here. First we will make top part of 12 inch by 12 inch. For this I will go to the rectangle tool. Click and press here till the other parts of it come in front of your eyes. And click last tool rounded corner. Click here. Give the size in command bar type 12 inch press enter and type 12 inch again and press enter and give 2 inch radius for the rounded corner of the square and press enter here you can see your rounded corner square is ready drag it into the center of the viewport by the help of gumball arrows now I will make a square of 2 inch by 2 inch. By this square I will make these 2 legs. Click again rectangle tool. Now click here after 1 inch because legs should be inside of the top of this tool. Type 2 inch, press enter and type 2 and press enter. Now click twice the tab of the top viewport. Now we will move this big square to the 17 inch. For this go to transform menu, click move and type here 17 in command bar and press enter and click here you can see in the perspective viewport that the big square rounded square has been set onto the distance of 17 inch by this large rounded square we will make the top of this tool for this go to the solid menu and come over the X planner curve and click straight type extrusion distance 1 inch and press enter it will make the thickness 1 inch of the top now click this small arrow and click rendered so you can see here the top is ready but it is not completed yet now I will make the rounded edge go to the solid menu again and stop over here flat edge and click flat edge and type 0.25 and press enter and select the upper side edge of the top and press enter 1 2 here you can see the upper edge has been rounded I have made it rounded so that it does not harm anyone now we will make a long hole in the center of the top. This hole is used for holding this tool to shift anywhere in real life. Click twice this tab. Go to again rectangle tool and press here till the other parts open. Click this tool. Click here for the first side length. Type 4 and press enter. For the other side press 1. Press enter. For the radius press 1 and enter. Now move it 0.5 inch. Here you can see that this part of the lines has been set in the center of the top. Click twice this tab and come in the front viewport here and select this part of the line 
and drag this from here to here now go to the solid menu stop over here and click straight and click here it has to be across both side of the top here in the perspective viewport you can see clear this thing select it go to the solid menu and click difference and click this object and press enter here you can see a long hole is ready like the other stool tops now hide this so it will not disturb you in the remaining lesson we will unhide this after completing other parts of this tool now guys we will make this tool lag by this small square select it and go to the solid menu come over the extrude planner curve click straight and type 17 in command bar and press enter you can see here in the perspective report that lag is ready but it is incomplete now we will make the socket point in the lag so support can be fixed inside the socket now twice click perspective viewport so you can see four viewport now double click this front viewport here i will make this socket point click the rectangle tool and make an square of one inch by 1.5 inch type one inch in the command bar press enter type 1.5 and press enter select this and move this by this arrow 0.25 press enter twice click front viewport and select again this small square go to the solid menu come to extrude planner curve click straight and type the extrusion distance 0.5 inch and press enter select it click twice this top viewport and move it here click this arrow again and type minus 0.5 here so it will go to back side press enter select this go to the transform menu click rotate now i will make the rotated copy of this object here you can see that it is set on yes or not then click click here and click here and rotate and click here and press enter here you can see a copy of rotated object has been ready move it from here to here by the help of this red arrow here you can see minus 0.5 is already typed so press enter now you can see it is shifted to the end corner of this object here now select both this object click twice this tab and now we will make a copy again so go to the transform menu click copy click here and click here before 2 inch from the base and press enter to apply this command here you can see now select the leg go to the solid menu click difference now select these four when you select this from here to here you can see here in the front viewport four object has been selected press enter and come to the perspective viewport here you can see the sockets are ready for the supporters now i will make the copy of this leg go to the perspective viewport click twice here on the tab select the leg go to the transform menu click mirror click here and click here here in the perspective viewport you can see that two legs are ready with sockets now i will make leg supporter by these two legs click the rectangle tool and click here and click here you can see these two point first point here and second point here at the end of the leg here and here now select it now click twice this front viewport you can see the four viewport here 
by this square we will make this solid object go to the solid menu extrude planner curve click state and type 1 and press enter here you can see in the perspective viewport a solid object is ready by that rectangle now click twice again perspective viewport and select this small square you can see here in the front viewport and make it solid again by this small rectangle go to the solid menu come to the extrude planner curve click straight and give extrusion distance 0.5 as like this same before you give for the socket type 0.5 press enter here you can see in the perspective viewport that it is ready now select this again and click this green arrow type here 0.25 because we will move 0.25 inch press enter here you can see now we will make a copy of this object click perspective viewport here go to the transform menu click mirror so you can get the mirror copy click here and click here here you can see in the perspective viewport that your one supporter is ready but we will make this supporter a solid object because it is divided into three parts here you can see one two and three so we will make one piece select all of them go to the solid menu and make it union by clicking union here you can see when you select it it is changed to one object go to the perspective and click twice here now we will set here go to the top viewport again by clicking twice here now we will set this point into the socket for this we will move it from here to here by move command so go to the transform menu click move and check the end point so it will snap to the end point of any object click here first and click here here you can see the supporter has been set between the legs one supporter now we'll make the second copy for the footrest select this go to the front viewport make it bigger now go to again transform menu click copy click here and click here press enter to apply this command go to the perspective menu again here you can see the two legs with two supporters are ready now go to the perspective menu again you can select here easily in the perspective viewport first press shift for the second supporter so you can select both object by pressing the shift key now go to the transform menu again and click rotate click top viewport twice click in the center and click here rotate here and click on every click it will make a copy and click here and click here and press enter to apply this command click twice this step and click twice this step here you can see eight supporters are ready one two three four five six seven eight now we'll make two legs to complete this tool select them by dragging from right to left go to transform menu click mirror click here and click here here you can see the bottom part of this tool is ready now we will unhide the top of this tool by right clicking of the mouse now make it big this report here you can see this tool is ready now we will soft the edges of this tool select the all is tool and here in the properties tab click this button edge softening type here 0 0.025 and check on and press enter here you can see edges has been soft
Now we will make a copy of this tool. Select this tool and go to the transform menu. Click copy. Click here and click here. Press enter. Here you can see that two stools are ready. Now we will detach all parts of the first stool so everyone can understand how to make it. Click perspective viewport twice click front viewport select this second stool move it here select the legs of the first stool and move it here and select these legs and move it here select the top move it here now twice click front viewport go to the top viewport Click twice this top viewport. Now select these legs and the supporters and move it here. Do the same thing with these and move it here. And select these supporter and move them here select these supporter and move them here now twice click top viewport in the perspective viewport you can see the detached look of the stool now I will change this stool to the wood stool now I will change the material to the wood here you can see your stool second stool is selected already go to the material tab i already have wood material here and your stool already selected and right click in the mouse and go to the assign to object and left click here you can see your wood stool is ready and the attached stool is here so everyone can understand how to make it one thing I want to say to my all viewers that my all design is not permitted for commercial use. If any company want permission please email me. You can see my email in the description box. So guys all of you should practice it very well and make it many times for perfection of designing. In the next lesson I will teach you how to make beautiful designer tray. If you have any question please drop it in my comment box and please tell me how I am going. It is easy for you or not. Here in the end screen you can see my all videos in the playlist. For the next lesson notification please press the bell icon and please describe and like my channel because a lot of time is spent in making one lesson and it takes a lot of effort. And thank you for watching this video. Bye. See you again in the next lesson.